Okay, don't laugh, but I have constructed the ultimate selfie stick. This is a little thing that I like to call the stork. Mach 1. I've got my iPhone mounted to the top. I've got a GoPro on the front. I've got a microphone with the self-contained recorder on the side and on the other side for when it's dark. I have an LED light so you can film me coming, you can film me going, you can record everything. It doesn't miss a thing. Okay, so maybe this is just a little bit over the top. Welcome to the land of absurdity. This little rig came about as kind of a half joke when my friend Eric and I were talking about the other rig that I built recently that I affectionately call the Sparrow Mach 1, which is designed basically just to get audio combined with what I'm shooting with my Sony RX105 or whatever point and shoot that I put on there. And I had mentioned that I'm starting to consider mobile photography and mobile video just a little bit more. Um, and the kind of the question came up as to could I build a rig that would address all of the issues that you'd have and stick it on a selfie stick. So that's what this is, is the Stork Mach 1. So it is a little bit over the top, but there are a few items on here that you could put together that actually are fairly useful and not quite as heavy. And so I'll go through and talk about kind of what I think some of the essential items for mobile photography and video might be. So the first and probably more useful part of this video is going to be how do you get your phone to actually mount to a tripod? This generic plastic device that I found on Amazon, it doesn't have a brand name. And by the way, I will put a link in the description if you were interested in seeing the parts list, all the stuff I'm talking about today. Um, but this I liked actually, uh, it was not expensive and it's very straightforward in use. To put your phone in, you simply unscrew and it changes the width of the mount here. And then you can tighten your phone in. It has rubber on the side, so it's not gonna scratch anything. Thing. The other thing that's cool is it has a swivel mount on the back. So if you want to change between landscape or vertical orientation, so this is helpful. For instance, if you're doing still photography, you're doing a time lapse, you can change your orientation. If you're doing video and you want to optimize for mobile playback, so if you're doing Facebook video or something like that, you can change your orientation on the fly, which is really nice. So this was nice, but the problem that I had with this is it's made out of plastic. And plastic does two things in my experience. One, it tends to break. And and that is no good. And the other thing that I don't like is just the way the parts all fit together and the screws and all. It seems like things don't tighten right sometimes just because plastic on plastic isn't the most frictionless, is that a word, frictionless material in the world. So I wanted to see if I could find something a little better than this, which brought me to this device, which is the Mi Photo Sidekick 360, which is basically a much better constructed and built version of the generic plastic one that I was showing you a second ago. It costs a little bit more money. In my opinion, it's much more worth it because it's going to last a lot longer and you're just going to have less fuss with it. Having a decent mount for your phone or mobile device will save you a ton of headache when you're trying to attach it to something standard like a tripod. But my next quest is I started thinking about what about a selfie stick? Now this is a selfie stick that I've had for a long time. This is just the generic one that you get at Best Buy and I think I bought this when I bought my GoPro a couple years ago. And it works fine. It looks like a radio antenna and it, you know, for all intents and purposes it works. A phone starts to get a little bit heavy on here and I question the durability about something like this and even when you're filming with a GoPro I have noticed that when you have it fully extended that it does become a little flimsy and shakes a little bit and that's something that I wasn't real crazy about so I started looking around to see what experience people had with various selfie sticks which is a very interesting quest but I eventually arrived at this which is something called the GoScope and actually um, I saw a video that Devin Supertramp had done and Devin is a pretty big name on YouTube and does these crazy videos with people jumping off of cliffs and stuff. And this is actually what he recommended in terms of a selfie stick. And I have to concur that it is exactly what I was looking for. Now, this just basically, you twist to lock and it comes in two different sizes. I have the shorter length, there is a longer length. So if you want more extension, Devin likes to use these for things like having people jump out of airplanes and stuff. And when you just need to attach a GoPro to it and grab it and go, this really could not be easier. So just to show you, I've got a GoPro mounted to the bottom of this that's facing forward and I have my iPhone mounted to the top and you can configure this any number of ways. I suppose if you were actually jumping out of an airplane and trying to film and didn't want to think about it, you could put two GoPros on there facing the same direction. Um, you can configure it however you want. And that's one thing that I really like about this format here. Now, one thing you do need to know is that when I'm talked about the Mi Photo device, it is not a GoPro mount. So you need to find a way to 
get the standard quarter inch threaded tripod mount onto the GoPro mount. And just like when I talked about that generic iPhone holder, there are many little parts that you can get very cheaply that are made out of plastic. And as I said earlier, plastic does two things. One, it does not last, and two, it does not tighten right. I can't ever get things to stay straight. They always get knocked loose, they slip, they move. And so I did find one by a company called K-Edge, and I will, like I said, link everything up in the show description, and that's the one I would go with. It costs a little more, but I mean, we're not talking high dollar here, and I think it's really worth it if you're going to actually mount things onto the ghost stick. But I actually like the ghost stick. I think it's very legit. It's very lightweight. I have the shorter version. I suppose that if I were doing something more extreme, I would go for the longer version. But uh, so far, this is kind of coming out to be the rig that I want it to be. Now, if I'm going to make a video on the ultimate selfie stick, you know I can't stop there. So I have a couple other things to show you that I think are very useful in a variety of situations, actually, and this is one of them. This is a microphone that is made by Tascam, and this is called the Tascam DR-10SG, the DR-10SG. And basically what it is, is it is a shotgun mic that is attached to a dedicated audio recorder. So it takes one AAA battery and an SD card, and you're good to go. And so I bought this when I was trying to figure out um, solutions for when I was trying to do external audio with my RX-105 when I built the Sparrow Mach 1. And so this is what I wanted to go with originally. The reason I didn't is just the form factor. It hangs out a little far for that rig. But if you were filming on a DSLR or anything else and you do not have a dedicated audio input jack, this could be your solution. The next component of the absurdist selfie stick is this LED light. And this is really cool. And I think bang for the buck, this is one of the coolest things I've gotten in a long time. These are not expensive, but this is made by a company called Aputure, not Aperture, Aputure. And this is the Amaran ALM9 lighting up. And it really is very cool. It is a self-contained battery, so you use USB power to recharge it, uh, but it is an LED light, and I can just turn that on, and it has several levels of brightness here. It's got nine LED lights, and let's go ahead, it's on the lowest setting right now. You can crank that way up. Anyway, a lot of power for something that is very small. So I think this is actually, and this is also cool, use magnets to put the diffusion screen on the top. And the other cool thing is it comes with filters. So if you need a tungsten filter, you need a daylight filter, or you need just a, um, actually you don't have a daylight filter because it is daylight balanced, but if you just need a tungsten filter or more diffusion, you can actually put it over the LEDs and then these are just magnets. So it sticks onto the top, is very well made, is very bright, and it's really cool. And if you're in really low light, I mean, you can already see it's kind of helping out in here a little bit, but if you're in like no light, Light. This is better than nothing and you can just keep this in your pocket and it's got an on off switch battery lasts forever I never charged it once I got it and that was like a month ago and I've been using it So the battery power is really good on here and uh, I highly recommend this It also comes with a tripod mount which is nice and it makes it easy for mounting it to things And it's just this little slip that you put this in and tighten the back And now you have threading for a tripod mount and you can mount it on whatever Which brings me to the last component that you need to rig up the entire selfie stick here, which are these, which is basically a friction arm. And a friction arm, um, I have a large one that I've shown you guys before that I use on my video rig here. But this one I particularly like because it's super small. And there's a bunch of these on Amazon and I've ordered, I own several of these, and I found that they're all pretty much the same company with different brand names stamped onto it. They're not the super, the most super robust item in the world, but they do the trick. And so basically the deal is with a friction arm is you have various joints like like this and then you have a screw that tightens up everything so you get it you can form it to however you want it and then you just tighten that up and it stays where it is and that includes basically the joint in the middle and then all the end joints as well and this one also came with a clamp and so that's the one I'll link up because you will need the clamp to get it onto the selfie stick but you can clamp this to a tripod a selfie stick whatever you want to do uh, the only thing I would say on these is they do not handle much payload they're not like I said they're not the most robust item I've ever owned light items no problem like a microphone, the light, all those things, they'll work great. If you want to put like a monitor or something on here, you're going to start getting into the <laughs> payload push limit here. So they're not good for heavier things. You need to get something that's more robust like a Manfrotto. And then those really are, I mean, you want, you think this selfie stick's absurd. That one would really be absurd. Uh, be like Edward's selfie hands with all these things coming off of it. But anyway, I do recommend these. And I use two of these on the, um, on the Stork Mach 1 to mount the light and then also the microphone. So that is the friction clamp and you see them made by Calmulet and Newer and a ton of other companies too, but that is the friction arm.
So there you have it, folks. This is the Stork Mach 1, which is designed to meet the most demanding mobile photography and video needs. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider liking it and sharing it with your friends. And as always, subscribe to The Art of Photography. That light's really bright. So you'll always be up to date on all the latest and greatest videos that we do here. And in the future, I'll design things that you can carry in one hand. Until the next video, see you guys then. Later.